That time his receiver let him down, dropping the ball. Third and 14, and Vic, will he take off? No, he's going to launch it downfield. And that's White with another attempt to pull one down, and it's incomplete. First thing on that play. McFadden never turned around. With the pass amazingly accurate, throwing on the run by Vic. Keenan, the kicker, sending Santonio Holmes back to the 20. And he loses the football. The Falcons are there for the recovery. Stripped away by Amari Lowe. About how they're trying to form an identity and was coming together with Davenport adding some bulk to the running game. Now Vic trying to cash in. Finds Crumpler at the three. And he takes it in for the touchdown. The very first play after the fumble. The Falcons take advantage. Nick. One draft, they came in together. What a chemistry they have! And come for three straight Pro Bowls. A touchdown here early. There's Holmes now breaking it, and Holmes is going to. Oh, can you believe that? Hayden, who kicked it off, barely got him by the shoelace, or otherwise it was all the way. First snap for Ben and the Steelers, and it's Willie Parker trying to step outside, and Hall gets the stiff arm a couple of times and rides out of bounds with him. Flanking the quarterback. Stacking receivers, expecting man to man. They don't get it. Pass zip. Pull down Holmes. First down at the Atlanta 40. Parker back in there at running back. Roethlisberger. Down the middle. Catch is made at the 20 by Wilson. The Georgia Dome. And as always, the Steelers with a big turnout on the road. Running play. Set back four or five yards as Parker runs into the arms of Grady Jackson. Rolling, firing, hitting. That's Washington with the first down yardage at the eight. The young receivers coming through with some big catches. Will Atlanta change up and play man coverage? It looks like they will. Roethlisberger tries to take off. And the alley is shut down. Mallard and Brooking collapse on the quarterback. And the Falcon defense makes a stand. The streak of 40 straight makes inside of 40 yards. And this one is just through. He's got a new streak underway. Steelers net a field goal after the big kick returned by Holmes. 7-3, first quarter. And Reed drives it to the goal line. They fake the reverse to Norwood, and Rawson keeps it across the 30. A big return for the Falcons this time, and he is grabbed around the shoulders all the way out to the 46. We'll give him 45 yards on the return, and the Falcons' offense is set up in golden position. When I got the football in my hands, I don't care what happens after that. That means I've made a play. Pittsburgh on the all-out blitz. And third and six. And it's open, and You said it right. The man was open. Nobody covered Roddy White down the field. What a play by Polamalu. How's that for a safety? We were talking about the anticipation of Vic and Polamalu being on the field at the same time. Two players who are known to cover a lot of ground. Which is what Polamalu can do. So the Steelers now trying to cash in on the takeaway. Running behind Kendall Sims for four yards. We have down and six in the first quarter. 7-3 lead Atlanta. And flags. A neutral zone infraction. Defense number 97 in the neutral zone. It caused the offense to false start. Five-yard penalty. It remains second down. Defense number 95. Five yard penalty and a first down. 49 first down. That's the feet. Fires it beautifully for another first. Parker. That right side is wide open. Hines Ward throwing a block. And it's enough for a first down. 16 yard rumble by Willie Parker. Bill. Yep. Said you give us, you gave all the. Free agents and low draft picks. Oh. Well, back at 
Denver back up, and here is Ward with the catch at the 10. Falcons are going to play it safe. And the pocket, wide open. Touchdown, Heinz Ward. Bengals, he'll do his version of it. Remember the old dirty bird down at the Jerry Glanville days? A little dose of it right back to Atlanta. That was a 51-yard boot by Keenan. Ken Roethlisberg for a straight drop. Pressure on his feet. Dances away. He's got Tuman. Tuman tackled by Hall. But Tuman was left alone. Roethlisberger somehow with some nifty footwork got away from the likes of Tommy Jackson and Jeff Porter. Steelers out first downing the Falcons. 10-1. to Roethlisberger again on target and a fumble. Ward fumbled. And it looked like the Steelers may have jumped in there to recover it. And out of the way, just in time. Pump fake, fire. Holmes inside the 30, slicing to the 27 of the wide receivers. Second down and eight. Here comes the blitz. Try to cross him up with a run. Parker dropped out from behind. Bowley tackles him near the 19, third and short coming up. And a touchdown for the 10-point lead. Steelers offense so impressive here in this first half. A carryover from last week, but now they fumble it on the exchange, and the Falcons recover for Michael Bowley. It's this type of an offense. They average over 230 yards rushing a game. They've got only 16 to this point. Big third down. Vic dancing, dancing, throwing. For the first down at the nine, but there is a flag. And Vic was level. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 94. Can I cut the distance to the goal? And a first down. The Zigging and zagging. That happened. Will Blitz. in this game off of fumbles Crumpler for the second time and look at the short kick the onside kick and the Falcons have recovered something that Bill Power loves to do and Atlanta comes back and gives them their own dose great drop Vic batted up into the air incomplete that was Brett Kiesel. Ten. To Dunn. Dunn's first real hole of the game to the 44. Give him seven. It's in Falcon franchise history. Third down. To take advantage now of the onside kick. They keep it going. With the hookup to Ashley Lely, the former Bronco for 13. Game. First down. Big fires and a flag. That pass had plenty of zip on it. That's led leading for a second straight play. Illegal contact. Defense number 25. Penalties declined. Play results in a first down. You know, Phil, we just been playing every single week. Vic has never had a three touchdown passing game in his six year career. Going for it right now, though. There's Jenkins, and he pulls down the catch. With the flag, touchdown, Atlanta, it's going to be against Pittsburgh. In two minutes and 42 seconds, the onside kick, set it up. Jenkins brings it home, and Atlanta leads. Pittsburgh to the 29, that's a yard shy of the first. Hines Ward. 
pick up the first. Try to get it to the run. Haynes has it. Haynes, by the way, the University of Georgia, out to the 40. He rooms on the road with the quarterback, Roethlisberger, and gobbled up all of his teammates' tickets. First and 10, Roethlisberger, open man. Morey with the catch. Morey in there because Wilson's out with that uh, groin injury, but got... Well, you're not going to take a chance. Pittsburgh will march down the field. Pump fake down the sideline. They go. Pass caught by Holmes. Over the shoulder. Beautiful grab. Jason Webster trying to defend. It goes for 36 yards. First and goal from the 10. Wilson's back in. Marcus for the throws. Catch is made. It's Nate Washington. Second straight week, he finds the end zone. What a throw, good anticipation. He sees the blitz. Things, and you know what did you see? He never took his eyes off the defense. He knew if they blitz, it's an all-out blitz by the Falcons. Everybody's coming, nobody's in the middle of the field. They cannot pick it up, so he knows he has to get rid of the football quickly. And Nate Washington, nice job. Watch him catch the football, protect himself so the defender can't run through him and knock it loose. Six touchdown passes in the game, three for each quarterback, and Nate Washington. And because someone joins in, in this case it's Heinz Ward, it becomes a celebration penalty. Yeah. You can dance alone. That's, that was an uncoordinated dance, too. It's been deceptive in the returns, making reverses, so this makes you more cautious as a tackle. Good drive and boot all the way back to the 11. Washington takes off. Washington takes off, open space. 50. And tripped by the kicker. That was a trip at the 40-yard line after a 51-yard return. Tripping. Number three of the kicking team during the return. 10-yard penalty. First down. 28-yard line in a thrilling first half. Pick. Underneath and picked right off the fingertips of Dunn. And James Ferrier has a second interception of the season. Down passes combined. That equals the most in any full game this season in the league. And it's the first time since a Tennessee-Oakland game back in December 04 where there were six in the first half. As you see, last one to Nate Washington. In the pocket now. Pocket collapses. He had time. Nothing open downfield. And the Falcons have a sack. Blitz. Roethlisberger trying to spin away and he won't. Mallard gets to him. Babino as well. And that shutout loss to Jacksonville in his 247 game career at that point. Parker has been over 100 every game at home. And he's going to get yards this time, but it'll be third and about three coming up. Give him the touchdowns. Third down and short. Underneath. Miller trying to twist for it. How about the spot they're going to give it to him? Hit after he throws it. Ball should have been caught. Hines Ward. And Roethlisberger is down. Hit by Chauncey Davis. Blitz by the Atlanta Falcons. Boy, he got hit three different ways. Yeah. And there was a signal to get the cart, which was already positioned over on the Steelers' sideline. Do they hand it off or do they let him throw as he comes right into the game? And right into a third and nine. Fields a low snap. He's got pressure. He gets it away, and it was in the area, really, of Kevin Mathis. And there's a flag in the secondary. Keith Brooking was in there almost too aggressive sometimes. Holding. Defense number 27. Five-yard penalty. And a first down. Around. Gives the Steelers the first down at the 36. Picked up right away. Parker fumbles the football, and Atlanta has 
Jackson tried to make the move. Jonathan Babineau said, no way. He strips it and falls on it. They have converted fumbles into touchdowns. Can they do it a third time? Vic, all kinds of time. At the 10, he's got his target. It's Crumpler down to the three. They're going to throw it. In the corner, and the diamond attempt incomplete. And a flag. Pass interference. Defense number 31. Because the foul occurred in the end zone, the ball is placed at the one-yard line. First down. Had the pressure on the quarterback. You know, I'm just saying this for all the critics. Because, well, he's the one who fumbled to set this up. Back to Dunn, and Dunn this time. They still haven't called it. I think they, he might they have just, They just got to make sure he has the football. It will be a touchdown once they see he has it. Raise your hands. They're trying to clarify. Does he still have the football? Thank you. There it is. That's why you don't see real fast touchdown calls by the sideline, the officials. Junior, he knew it. Mora celebrates his team regaining the lead. Helping them to victory. Play action. This time, he's on target for the first down to Holmes. Nice throw. Again, fake into the line. Up top he goes and hits Ward in stride. Finds Ward taken off at the 20. Tries to take the angle away. Ward dies for the pylon. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. What a play. He ran right out of his shoe. Thrilling the 70 people who are here today as his guests in his hometown. Play action. He looked down the middle, looked it off, goes to his right, and throws it right on target. See his head looking down the middle? He knew he was going to throw this to Hines Ward to the right just by the way they lined up on defense. Look at the shoe come off at the 30. That is incredible. And Hines Ward is strong. That's the one thing you notice about him. D'Angelo Hall, good shot. Outside, doesn't have the quickness there to make it. Look at that shoe come off. You're right, Jim. It went flying. You know, I think Hall thought for sure he would catch him, but Ward so savvy. Look at him take away the angle. Here's the shoe. He's just going to go ahead and kick this thing off now. He kicked it off. And you, you know, too, Charlie Batch, that is exciting stuff to come in a game and do that. And D'Angelo Hall told us, I will play off the Pittsburgh receivers. But defense here in the Atlanta home stadium. Done. Pushed back by Paul Amalu. Catch Cecil Fielder and Rob Deere home runs in batting practice in the outfield. Look at that pass. Had to be with that velocity. Otherwise, Townsend could have taken it for six. It's Roddy White picking up the first down. And he'll know when to run. When you set it down, so he'll roll it out. Now plant and throw. Got his man, Roli. Roli spinning away from Nick Patton and he's out of bounds at the 30. In Pittsburgh. Vic still has it. What a fake. Carried it out. Throws it deep. Got a Crumpler. Got him on the touchdown to Crumpler. <laughs> 31 yards. Crumpler's third score of the day. Vic fourth. Touchdown pass. Play action fake by Vic. Well, here's what it is, Jim. And look at the space. Now he can pull up. And he lets it go. Watch Algie Crumpler, top of your screen. I thought he was going to throw it to Michael Jenkins. And the football gets by the defender, Ike Taylor, before he can react to it. Amazing to think that Vic had never thrown for more than two touchdowns in a game in his six years in the league. Start the quarter here with Vic getting away from the trouble. Moving into Pittsburgh territory, and his first open room running is, if you're just joining us, Vic has thrown for a career high four touchdowns in this game. In that third quarter, taking to the locker room now back. Vic launches long over the head of Jenkins with McFadden and Polamalu in there with a flag as well. Personal foul, shot block. Offense number 28 and 72. 15-yard penalty. 
This is in a game that breaks his previous mark by two. He had never thrown for more than two scores in a game until today. Third and forever, and Vic splits the defenders, not able to get away from the third. It's Tyrone Carter coming up from the secondary for the sack. Roethlisberger threw for three before he went out. Three touchdowns. Batch is thrown for one, replacing him. And here's Norwood. Norwood taking off the 50. And inside the 40 before he's ridden down. The ball squirted out at the end, but I believe they've ruled him down. And he has a chance to score every time he touches him. He was the eighth running back selected in the draft. His gun comes back, spins away, and a nifty run for seven. Norwood... The eighth running back, he has a 100-yard game already to his credit this year against Arizona. One backfield. In second and three, done. He's going to be uh, close to that first, but a flag in the pile. In the football until just now. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Defense number 99. Penalized half the distance to the goal, and a first down. Vicks pass, he catches his own pass. Polamalu cuts off the angle. Ball was deflected by Kiesel. Morton Anderson, the 46-year-old, drills it through. It's still a one-possession game. That from 25. Morton Anderson, 24 years in the league. He's taken his licks, but he's still kicking. Today. There have been 2,100 games played and only one tie in that stretch, and it was these two. And that's Ward picking up eight. It would have been a pick. It would have been Clacker. Third down and two. Parker gets the yardage for the first. Blitz is picked up. Batch steps forward. He's got Washington open the catch at the 25. Nate Washington stretching it out to the 16. He beat Jason Webster for 50 yards. In the pocket, it's a blitz. Heath Miller picks up the defensive back and allows him to step up. And really, Charlie Betts, oh, it's a beautiful move on the outside by Nate Washington. He fakes like he's going out, cuts up inside, and he's wide open, and then he attacks the football to make the catch. It's in Washington. Again, play action. To Ward, and the Steelers can tie it on the extra point. Jimmy Williams, who just stepped in for Webster, gets beaten on the play. 17 yards and a touchdown. To hit him in. The play action fake delays the defense just a little. You see the gap. Again, vertical inside passing. I've only said that about six times today. But Heinz Ward widens the corner. And that creates a lane, and Charlie Batch anticipates and drives it in there. Ward told us back in week three, Jerry Rice had told him one time, don't live off what you did in the past. Look at Roethlisberger applauding. Excellent position. Set something up at the end. What will Vic do? Dancing around with pressure. Flips it at the last second, hits his man for the first down. That's Justin Griffith. Vic making something out of nothing. Here in the pocket as a quarterback. So Griffith picks up the first, and Vic has running room. For the 40, 45, and chased out by Ryan Clark. Zips it, Jenkins. Pushed out by two Steelers. And down coming for the Falcons. The rookies ices through for a first down. And they've got two kickers here in Atlanta. There you see the numbers. Almost 800 yards of offense. Almost 600 yards of passing offense. Yeah. They need to get to the 29 for a first. what's problematic yes. you do go for the long field goal with Keenan and he misses well then you would set up Pittsburgh with two timeouts and a half minute to go you'd set them up in great shape so look
Chiefs. He's early in the year, went 0 for 4 in a game. One more time from 56. And this time the kick is wide. No good. There is a flag, and they may have roughed the kicker. Running into the kicker. when he heard it from Cowan. Here's Batch in the pocket over the top, and he's got his target. It's Ward at the 34. Again, no timeouts. Pike at the stop it. Formation was... Oh, there's a penalty. Were they in the correct formation? Ball start. Offense number 85. is running with less than a minute. The false start that present the, prevents the snap requires a 10-second runoff. Overtime. Therefore, the game is over. The game goes to overtime. Go extra time again. Falcons will have that all-important first possession. They run it right out of the gun with the rookie. Wow, what a first he has for a first down. It was a game of 11. Stay on the ground with Norwood again. He's ridden down after a five-yard pickup by Tyrone Carter. Has to think it's going to be a run to try to stop the two running backs and Michael Vick. He takes off with it. Has a first down. The blitzing. Pulled a Malu. Vic able to shake him up. Lobs it softly to Crumpler. And Crumpler all the way to the 29. Vic that time had the perfect touch. And he picks up 26. And the Falcons are in field goal range. They... is through for another first. Chance to kick the game winner. He only has 31 game deciding kicks in his career. And Olamalu brings it to a close at the 14. the side today Atlanta wins it to go to four and two got James Brown at the subway post game show coming up